When you have a newborn, putting them in the bath for the first time can be slightly nerve wracking, but don't worry, it can be really, really simple and there are some really lovely moments that you can have with you and your baby. So before you bathe the newborn, you need to have all of the essentials ready. I will always have the change of outfit, a nappy, and I have two sponges. One is the bum sponge and one is the sponge for the rest of his body. And of course you need to have a towel to wrap him up in afterwards. Start by filling your bath with a few inches of water. I always test the temperature by putting my elbow in, which is the easiest and most simplest way of doing it. Give the water a swirl around to make sure that there are no hot patches. When you put the baby into the bath, make sure that you have your hand underneath their back and neck and just keep your hand there the whole time to support them. Then you can use your other hand to pick up the sponge and bathe him. Some people like to use a cotton pad to wipe the baby's eyes and then you can use a soft flannel to wipe the rest of their face. Don't forget to wash behind their ears, I just use a sponge. Wash the nappy area last. I always have a separate sponge for this that I like to call the bum sponge. When you lift your baby out of the bath, just put your hands underneath his armpits and put him down on the towel. Make sure that you always support his head and his back. Dry them before they have the chance to get cold and it's also the perfect time to have a nice little snuggle with them whilst they're in their towel. A lot of people wonder when it's okay to give their baby their first ever bath. It's absolutely fine to do this when he's just a couple of days old. It's always a good idea to keep your baby's first bath reasonably short. Don't go and put lots of smelly soaps and bubbles in the bath because they've got sensitive skin. And also, if they don't enjoy it, it really doesn't matter. You can come back another day and do it all again. Because they're so young at this stage, you really don't have to do it every single day. Just do it a couple of times a week. It's up to you when you want to bathe your baby. Personally, I always do it just before he goes to bed because it's the perfect time for him to relax and chill out and it sets a great bedtime routine. When I first bathed Rupert, I was absolutely petrified, so I made sure that my husband was there with me to help me out. I think it's a really good idea to have a family member or a friend just there to give you that extra bit of support. A lot of people worry about baby sensitive skin. I quite often use an emollient cream or other people use oils to help keep baby's skin soft and moisturized. I like to use Fairy Non Bio on my towels because it prevents irritation on Rupert's skin and it smells so delicious you just want to give him a big snuggle afterwards. I hope you found this useful. Please don't stress about bath time. It can be one of the nicest times between you and your baby. And it's the perfect time to have lots of snuggles. If you've got any other questions, then head over to Mum's Net, or you can share some of your tips about bath time in the comments below. Mwah.